And now back to you to you on Nickelodeon. We've been all over the place today. We've gone to Estonia and the UK. And now one last stop in West Virginia to meet the creator of today's Lynx. Lynx is where U to U connects kids with the pros to bring their creations to life. So if you have a song, we'll put you in the music video. And if you have a story, we'll help make the movie. Or like today's Lynx, when you sent in a story about a mystical cartoon, we worked a little magic. You might say Paul Hubens is a kid with special powers. With his mighty mixture of a wild imagination and magic markers, he created the Adventures of Magic Boy, a kid with superpowers. The magic Boy can do almost anything he wants, because I don't know what gives him these magical powers. I think it's the hat. He's not really average as we think he is. He has magical powers. You to you linked Paul up with award-winning animator David Lubell. David's job, work closely with Paul and help him make Magic Boy fly. You got cool drawings, I like them. How should we do the dragon fight, though? I mean, that should be intense, because he is fighting a demonic lizard like ten times bigger than your normal house pet. Wow. Paul's story is really good because he did a lot of illustrations. He did uh, basically an entire storyboard, which is really important for animators to work from. Also, these illustrations were really expressive. So basically, it was just taking what he did, simplifying it somewhat for animation, and, and flying with it. Working with a professional animator is so much fun. I think I, think I could do this forever. The Adventures of Magic Boy by Paul Hubens. One day, Mike was stuck at home very bored with nothing to do. I wish I could do something. Mike didn't know yet that he was born with magical powers. Mike wished he could do something like... Be a heroic warrior. The Adventures of Magic Boy. And like magic, he was a warrior. Mike was surprised to find he was wearing knight's armor in medieval times. Whoa. Suddenly, Mike met an evil dragon. The dragon was so big and powerful, it made Mike look like an ant. Meet your doom, mortal. The dragon spewed forth flames, but Mike blocked them with his shield. Phew, it's getting way too hot in this room, said Mike, and he couldn't take the heat anymore. Plus, the dragon was moving in on him. I want to cool off. I wish I could be a fish. Instantly, Mike was a fish in the ocean enjoying the cool water. Wow, this is so cool. Then the sea got darker and there were no other fish. It was too quiet. So peaceful, yet something is wrong. A great big fish lashed out to consume him. Mike panicked and darted away. The chase was on. Mike was so desperate and confused, he didn't even think about wishing, just about getting away. The great big fish got closer and hungrier. Come back here. Mike saw a small passage in the rocks, and he swam for it. Wait till I get a hold of the I can't wait. Too bad. I can. Mike squeezed right through, and the great big fish got stuck in the passage. See ya. Mike stopped to catch his breath. He finally remembered he was magic. I had enough action for today. It's time to go home. Whoa, this is weird. I'm mutating. Mike said goodbye from his long, tiring magic adventure and took a nice, long rest. The end. And here's the man who put the magic in the adventures of Magic Boy, Paul Hubens. What's happening, Paul? Uh, life's been good. It's been good? I've been enjoying myself lately. So what was the best <laughs> part of making this cartoon? I like drawing and stuff, and so that made it fun. Are there any <laughs> updates on what gives Magic Boy super special powers? His brain, uh, because his imagination is in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for sharing Magic Boy with us, and if you have any other ideas, 
send them here. Thanks, you to you. If you have any ideas or want to see them on TV, write us at you to you, care of Nickelodeon Studios, P.O. Box 692-229, Orlando, Florida, 32869. Well, that's a wrap for today. Remember, you write it, you sing it, you design it, so make sure you send it in. Because it can't be you to you without you.